minded. But for some of us, we still like to. for his presence for who he is let's thank God for Jesus not for the truth but here my God get off the line because you're mad and understand something when you angry and you go on live just because you deleted don't mean it went nowhere and I need some people in my life my God that will tell me the truth that will tell me you know what don't you touch another Facebook live don't you touch another Instagram live I don't care who you want to pray for you pray for nobody. As a matter of fact, let me pray for you. So you need some people in your life. My God, that are not vultures, who are, but who are eagles. That some vultures hover around death. When things are dying, they don't want to eat nothing that's alive. They hover around death. Come on and shout. Because it's working for me. Cause it's working for me. Alright, I'm gonna just do the verse and we're not gonna do the rest of it. Here it is. Evangelist Latrice Ryan Ministries presents Revival as a Luncheon. Join the dynamic and limited national evangelist, Latrice Wright. Revival at Lunch. It's Evangelist Latrice Ryan with Unshakable Faith. Guys, this conference means the world to me. It means something absolutely different this year. So I'm encouraging you to partner with us. We've prayed together. We've healed together in webinars. We've gone higher in prayer. Now it's time for us to grow in faith. So partner with us by registering for Unshakable Faith, the virtual experience. Go to usfaith.org and I want to see you in the virtual room, miracles, signs, wonders, breakthrough, uh, teaching, empowerment, all of that coming forth in your home at usfaith.org. I'll see you there. Evangelist Latrice Ryan Ministries presents Revival at in mighty ways to set me free and I know that this is just the beginning so I just thank you because he knows what we need and when we need it Isaiah 61 in its entirety the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn to console those who mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they may be called trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he may be glorified and they shall build the old ruins they shall raise up the former desolations and they shall repair the ruined cities the desolations of many generations strangers 
shall stand and feed your flocks and the sons of the foreigners shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers but you shall be named priests of the Lord they shall call you the servants of our God you shall eat riches of the Gentiles and in their glory you shall boast instead of your shame you shall have double honor instead of confusion they shall rejoice in their portion therefore in their land they shall possess double everlasting joy shall be theirs for I the Lord love justice I hate robbery for burnt offering I will direct work in truth and I will make them an everlasting covenant their descendants shall be known among the Gentiles and their offspring among the people all who see them shall acknowledge them that they are the posterity whom the Lord has blessed I will greatly rejoice in the Lord my soul shall be joyful in my God for he has clothed me with garments of salvation he has covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decks himself with ornaments as a bride adorns herself with jewels for as the earth brings forth its bud as the garden causes the things that are sown in it to spring forth so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations Psalms 24 in its entire the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceit he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation this is the generation of them that seek him that seek thy face O Jacob Selah lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted up we welcome you in Jesus we give you glory Let the glory fill your home, even in the virtual room. Let the glory fill your home. Let the glory fill your space. Let the glory, let your glory fill the earth. Let your glory, let your glory fill this room. Let your glory, let your glory fill. Surround us with your glory. Surround us with your glory. Surround us with your glory. Hey, Shekanamaha. Lord, surround us with your glory. I Hey family, it's Evangelist Latrice Ryan with Unshakable Faith. We are coming for two powerful, faith fiery moving days. Join us for breakout sessions, a revival Friday night, 7 p.m. You must register at usfaith.org and we'll be closing off the weekend with an amazing luncheon. I want to see you both days, usfaith.org. I'll see you there.
to glorify the Lord. Hallelujah. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Come on. Let us exalt his name together. Oh, God, I was glad when they said, let us go into the house of the Lord. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. What are we going to do? We have made up. We have decided that I will rejoice and be glad. I will rejoice in the Lord thy God. I will rejoice in his mighty works. I will rejoice. We are not complaining. We are not murmuring. We are not grumbling. But I set my face. I set my lips to utter praise, to utter worship, to utter prayer, to speak of his goodness, to speak of his wonderful acts, to speak of his mighty power. Come on in, y'all. Good morning, everybody. I feel good in Jesus. Come on in, y'all. Begin to share, begin to tag. You know what to do, y'all. We are evangelizing. This is how we evangelize this gospel. Landara, it ain't enough for us to keep it to ourselves. We want the masses. We want the, the, the unbeliever, the non-believer, those who have never heard the voice of Jesus. We want them to hear this word, Ikaya, and come back to him. He said, if I be lifted up above all the earth, I will draw all men unto thee. And so God, we cast out our nets. In the name of Jesus, we throw out our nets. Lamana, bring in the fish, God. Bring in the backslider. Bring in the unbeliever. Bring in the wayward. Bring them in, Father, in the name of Jesus. Bring in the doubters, God. Bring in the atheist, Father. Bring them in in the name of Jesus. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. Begin to share. God bless you. The West Coast. Thank you, Father, for every person that's represented on the West Coast. All of our time zones is represented. Come and call in and and dialing in from California, from Pennsylvania. Glory to God. I see you in the name of Jesus. We believe God. We stand on his promises. We stand on his word. Come on, y'all begin to share. Good morning. Good morning. Begin to share in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare in the name of Jesus. Y'all on the awakening prayer call, we pray in three parts. We worship. We pray the word of God and we go into warfare. We worship. We pray the way of the word of God and we go into it's a warfare worship. They that worship the Lord must worship him in spirit and in truth. So we begin get good morning. I pray pretty. We begin glory to God to lift up the sound of worship. We begin to get in the comments and let our comments reflect worship in the name of Jesus. Lama, we don't run out of words in worship. We tap into the spirit of the Lord. We make it personal in your worship worship make your worship personal this is not an automatic thing no 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 we make it personal we make it personal go down to the specifics we love on God as we are worshiping we are bragging Woo! we are making a boast in the Lord we are bragging on his goodness we give no glory to flesh we give no glory to to, 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 to the enemy we give no glory to the systems of this world we glorify God all the glory all the honor, all the worship belongs to him. So y'all, let's go straight in, in worship. Mighty are you, O oh God. Mighty are you, O oh God. Mighty, mighty, mighty. We call you mighty, God. We call you strong, O oh God. Oh Lord, we love you, Jesus. We love to call on your name, Jesus. We love to sing praises unto your name. Jesus we give you the credit we give you the honor we give you the worship we give you the praise oh Jesus if we were nothing without you Jesus we can't do anything without you father you are my strong you are my strong tower you are my heart's desire we just want to please you oh God we chase after you we run after you we rely on you we trust in you we lean on you 
you, Father. You are my leaning post. Come on. Ha! Oh, I can understand what the old folks used to say when they said, you my leaning post. I lean on you. That's where I find my safety. I lean on you. That's where I trust. I don't have to lean into my own understanding, oh God, but I glorify your holy name that I lean on you, Father. I lean on your promises. I stand on your word, God. We love you that your word is indestructible. We love you, Father, that you, ha, huh, your word never fails. It God, yeah. There's power in your word. There's power in what you say. Your word does not change. Your word does not lie. Woo, ba -da -ba. Your word changes not. Heaven and earth will pass away, but I thank you, Father, that your word is indestructible. I thank you that your word is infallible. I thank you that your word endureth for all generations. I praise you, Father. Hey, your word is yet alive. Your word is strong. Your word is mighty. Oh, God, you are all wise. You are all powerful. God, there is nothing that you cannot do. Ah, you can't lie. You are able to do it all. Huh? And we thank you, Father, for your miracle working power. We thank you for your wonder working power. We thank you for your marvelous acts. We thank you, Father, for your amazing things. God, you, you blow our minds. Who you leave us speechless, God. Huh? Who shut up? Come on, y'all. Let's brag on him. Hey, 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 hey. You leave a speechless God. Head on a Messiah. Oh God, you take my breath away. God, you amaze me. I never get common with you. I never get comfortable with you, God. I never just get lazy with you, Father. Oh God, I get excited when I begin to speak on your goodness and your greatness. I get excited, oh God. God, when I begin to worship you, Father, every time I turn around, I think of something else that you've done because you are consistent. You are consistent, God. Oh, God, I can count on you. You are constant. You do not change. You are good, God, and you are great. You are my great God. You are my holy father. You are my holy king. You are my righteous savior. You are my redeemer. You are my restorer. You are my supplanter. You are my provider. You are my peace. You are my battle axe. You are my banner. Hey, you are the Lord of hosts. You cover me. You cover me. Hello, my niece. You cover me, God. You cover me. Oh, you cover me. You cover me. When the enemy could try to bring up a charge, you cover me. Your word declares who can bring a charge against your God's elect. I thank you, Father, that you justified us. You sealed us. You marked us you marked us God you've sealed us you seated us in your word you planted us in your word I can cry Abba God you are my father you are my savior you are my defender you fight for me you advocate for me God you interpret the things that I even when I pray father through moanings and groanings you my, you are my interpreter you are the giver of life and life more abundantly you are my cornerstone you are my foundation you are my way in you are my way out. You are my way through. How about you are the lifter? You are the lifter over my head. You are a covenant keeping God. You ain't never broke a promise. You are a covenant keeping God. You keep your word. You keep your word. You keep it me, God. In our going ins, in our coming out, God. You kept me, Father, from danger, from disease, from destruction. You kept me, God. And I want to brag on your keeping power. Ah, when I wasn't able to keep myself, you kept me, God. And I thank you, Father. I, we glorify you, Father. You delivered us. Ha, come on, come on, come on. You delivered us from addictions. You delivered us from ourselves. You delivered us from destruction. You delivered us from every snare. You delivered us from every fowler. You delivered us from every virus. You delivered us from every disease. You delivered us from depression. You delivered us 
us from, from self-destruction. You delivered us, God. Oh, you are a great deliverer. You delivered us. You removed me from my mess. Hey! You removed me from the attacks. And I get to say thank you, God, that you removed me from the attacks. You removed me from the danger. You removed me from the plot. You removed me from the pit. You brought me out. And I got to say thank you. You brought me out. You brought me out. You brought me out of Egypt. You brought me out of my wilderness. You brought me out of my sin. You brought me out of my out of my own destruction. You brought me out, God. And I got to say thank you, Father. Hey! I got to say thank you, God. You brought me out. You hid me. Anybody know that God hid you? God, you hid me. I love that about some stuff that I didn't even see. You hid me from the attacks and from the bullets that were flying overhead. You hid me, God. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, God, because you hid me. When the enemy came in, you hid me. When destruction was all around, God, you hid me, Father. And I got to say thank you, Father. Thank you for hiding me. Thank you for hiding me. Thank you, God, for hiding me. Thank you, God, for hiding me. God, we want to say thank you, Father, for hiding us in the cleft of your arms. You hid us under the wings of your almighty power. You hid us under the sh under your shadow. You hid us. You are my refuge. You are my fortress. Uh -huh. You are my hiding place. You are the one that hid it. My, my, my storm shelter. You hid us from the storm. You hid us from the destruction. You hid us from calamity. You hid us from ma malice. You hid us from madness. You hid us from it, God. You hid us and I got to say thank you, Father, that you are my hiding place. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh God, we got to say thank you, Father. Thank you for redeeming us. Thank you, God, that you're my hero. Woo! You are my hero. Come on here, we're just worshiping. Let's worship for the next few moments. You are my hero, God. You are sovereign. You are my strength. You are my peace. You calm my mind. You soothe every doubt. You ease every burden. You lift it up the burden. You are the lifter of my burden. You are the lifter of my problems. You are the lifter of the storm. You are the lifter of the pain. You are the lifter, God, and we thank you, Father, for lifting it. We thank Thank you, God, for carrying us through. We thank you, God. God, you are the finisher. Ha! Huh? You finish everything you started. You don't leave nothing undone. You leave nothing unfinished. And I thank you, Father, that you are the finisher. You are the one that makes it complete. You are the one that makes it whole. You are the one that makes it better. You are the one that makes it well. You are the one that keeps it. You my superman. Oh, God, you rescued me. You got me out. You delivered me. God, you brought us through. And I got to say thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for finishing it. Thank you, God, for doing it. Thank you for completing the work. Thank you, God, for finishing the miracle. I thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that we can declare that I am looking at a finished product. God, I praise you in the name of Jesus. God, that it is finished in the realm of the Spirit. No matter what it looks like right now, I thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, that on the seventh day, you rested. That was your Sabbath. In Genesis, in the book of Genesis, when Jesus finished the work on the cross, Jesus said, it is finished. And God, we give you glory, honor, and praise that our miracle is finished finished, that we are a finished product, that we are a finished work in the name of Jesus. God, I thank
thank you. Uh, somebody type that right now. It is finished. Uh, ha! Declare it in faith. Uh, declare it in faith. Uh, declare it over your life. Uh, declare it over your project. Uh, it is finished finished. The work is finished. It is finished. My healing is finished. My deliverance is finished. What I had on my altar, God, I thank you now. I give you glory, Father. I worship you and I praise you that it is finished. Glory be to the most high God. We glorify you, God, that my children, my family is saved. It's finished. My family is whole. It's finished. My family is delivered. It's finished. My ministry is is strong. It's finished. My degree is complete. It's finished. No matter what it look like, it is finished. I'm looking at a finished product. I'm looking at, watch this. Thank you, Father. It's finished and it's paid for in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God. It's finished and it's paid for. It's finished and it's paid for in the name of Jesus. Ah, when it's finished and paid for, when something has been paid for, you are given a receipt receipt and the receipt is proof of purchase. Glorify your holy name, O oh God. And God, we thank you now that you have given us and released unto these your people. Hallelujah. Proof of purchase that it's already done. We don't have to wait until the battle is over. But God, we give you glory right now that it's finished. It's already done. It's paid for in the name of Jesus. I'm getting ready to pick it up. I'm getting ready to hold it up. I'm getting ready to obtain it. I'm getting ready I'm getting ready to obtain it. I'm getting ready to walk in it. It's finished and it's already done. It's finished and it's already done. It's finished and it's already done. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, glory be to your holy name, Jesus. The Bible says to, to prophesy to Israel, glory be to God, and tell them that her warfare is over. My God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we declare right now, according to your word, Word in the book of Isaiah that the warfare is over. The warfare is over. The warfare is over. That strife and going back and forth. Hallelujah, it's over. That contention is over. That pushing and pulling is over. That, that unusual exertion, that unusual demonic exertion where the enemy trying to wear you down, the enemy trying to beat you down, where life is trying to beat you down and take you, take away your focus. We declare in Jesus' name, hallelujah, that it's over. The struggle is over. That constant warfare, that constant battle is over. That constant tension is over every tension in your house. We declare in Jesus' name that the tension is over. Every tension, heaviness on your job, in your place of employment, we declare in the name of Jesus that when you go and clock in today that that workplace hostile workplace environment is over in the name of Jesus we declare that as your child as children are going to school that hostile environment they will not be terrorized on the schoolyard in the name of Jesus we declare that the terrorism homeland terrorism terrorized on the schools and in the highways every form of bullying in the name of Jesus, every demonic bullying, cyber bullying, texting bullying, in the name of Jesus, we declare that it's over that the spirit of the Lord goes in your job. The spirit of the Lord, I shed my the spirit of the Lord goes in your job. The spirit of the Lord goes into your place of employment. The spirit of the Lord goes into your house. Hallelujah! And everything that was attacking your home, we declare in Jesus' name that it is over. Over. Everything that was attacking you on your job, mental anguish, habashaya, in the name of Jesus, we declare in Jesus' name that it's over. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. 
unexplained demonic attacks on the workplace. Hallelujah. And we declare in Jesus' name it's over. You won't work, hallelujah, an eight hour, 12 hour shift with migraine, headaches, and chest pain. The stress associated with the workplace is over. We destroy every spirit of stress, every stressor in the workplace. We destroy it in the name of Jesus. Test taking stress. We destroy that in the name of Jesus and we release God the spirit of peace. We release God a new calmness. Ah, your calm. There's going to be a new level of calmness and a new level of peace on your mind that when you walk into the workplace, what bothered you last week won't be able to touch you this week. Who was, who was coming up against you? Every adversity that was coming up against you last week, it won't be able to touch you this week. In the name of Jesus, what kept you up last night, you sit in your car, huh? sitting in your car, crying before you go into work. The devil is a liar. You ain't going to live your life. Hashat tender the Messiah, crying before you go into work. God says, I'm turning your tears into joy. In the name of Jesus, I we destroy it now. I hear the Lord saying, Ooh, hallelujah. It's over. It's over. It's over. Every witch on your job, over. Every Jezebel in the school, over. Every Ahab, every Pharaoh, hallelujah, that's in the school, in your job, by Messiah, trying to attack your team, trying to say every spirit of sabotage in the workplace, sabotaging your work, sabotaging your progress in the name of Jesus. We declare that it's over. We take the sword of the spirit and we drive out every seed of sabotage in your ministry, in your home, in your marriage, every seed of sabotage in your marriage, every seed of division in your marriage. We drive it out in the name of Jesus. We release unity in the house. We release one accord in the house. We release togetherness in the house. In the name of Jesus, I hear the Lord. Ha! In the name of Jesus. See, I hear the Lord saying that you are coming out of survivor's mode. You are coming out of survivor's mode. You are coming out of survivor's mode. Oh, y'all don't know when to shout. You are coming out of survivor's mode. What is survivor's mode? Survivor's mode is a natural uh, response or emotional reaction when to stress, anxiety. It's a natural response or re to an emotional reaction to stress and, 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 and anxiety. Somebody declare, I'm coming out of survivor's mode survivor's mode. I'm coming out of survivor's mode. I will not live my life. I will not live my life in the name of Jesus in survivor's mode. I will not live my life in constant warfare. You will not live day to day in constant warfare. We bind survivor's mode in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Survivor's mode is when you feel like everything is a 9-1 one. Survivor's mode is when you feel like it. Hallelujah. That I'm, a, I'm in a rat race. Going around in a circle. I feel like I can never get out. We bind and we break. In the name of Jesus. The spirit of the rat race. The spirit of you feeling like you'll never get ahead. The spirit, the spirit of you feeling like you'll never come out. They're stress related. When a person has survivor mode. They're in survivor's mode. Their heart is racing. They can't find no rest. They cannot calm down. Everything is always running. You're running, the, burning the candles at both ends. You are burning all cylinders. Everybody the most shy. But the devil is a liar. You will not walk through your life living as a, in survivor's mode. We destroy it. We have to throw, we throw a monkey wrench in the name of Jesus. In that mentality. My God, well, you have no rest. Feeling like you always stuck. Hallelujah. Feel like it'll always be this way. Feeling like you cannot get ahead. Feeling like Feeling like you'll never get ahead. Feeling like you are like you always doing something wrong. Feeling like you can never do nothing right. We destroy it in the name of Jesus. Every stress. Hallelujah. Stress that pushes you back. Stress that keeps you stuck. Stress that keeps you not wanting to try. Stress that keeps you in fear. Stress that keeps 
keeps you bound stress that keeps you limited stress that keeps you buried we declaring that they're stopping your growth we come against every survivor's mode every spirit of stress hallelujah that's trying to block you from elevated in the name of Jesus here it is let's go the Bible says in Philippians 4 and 6 from the passion translation ah, in the name of Jesus don't be pulled in different directions worried about a thing we declare in the name of Jesus that you will not be pulled in every direction you will not be pulled apart you will not be torn apart the Bible says in Luke 22 31 and 32 that Jesus told Peter he said Peter Simon Simon Peter Satan has desired to sift all of you as wheat. In other words, Satan wanted to rip Peter apart. Satan wanted to tear Peter apart. And for some of us praying this morning, the last few weeks, it's felt like the enemy has wanted to tear everything concerning you apart. Wanted to tear you apart. Wanted to disconnect you, separate you from your word, separate you from your source of strength, separate you. Separate you from your destiny. But God says, according to Philippians 4 and 6, God said, Don't be pulled in different directions. He said, Be saturated in prayer throughout the day. You're going to be saturated in prayer because you ain't just praying for yourself. Jesus told Peter in Luke, the 22nd chapter, verse 32, He said, But I prayed for you. And I need to let somebody in here know this morning that God says, I heard your prayer I pray for you the Holy Spirit has been interceding for you you think it ain't nobody praying for you but what you don't know is that God got some intercessors God got prayer warriors who've never met you but they calling your name in the spirit God got intercessors who've never laid eyes on you but they can pick up your name in the realm of the spirit and the devil is trying to make you think that you are isolated and alone but you are not alone you you are not isolated you are not by yourself you are not on an island greater is he that is within us than he that is in the world and we break and destroy that spirit of isolation that spirit of being stuck in survivor's mode in the name of Jesus we don't roar as those that have no hope How we put on the shield of faith the breastplate of righteousness the forearm of God in the name of Jesus we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses just when the prophet Elijah thought that he was by himself and that nobody else was there God had to remind him I got prophets in caves you ain't the only one you ain't out here by yourself you are never outnumbered and we break that mentality of isolation that mentality that wants you to get up under the bed and not get out that mentality that woe is me we break it out we destroy it in the name of Jesus you may not be able to see it but God in Jesus name we release let the ones who feel isolated and alone let them feel your power we release a fresh wind we release a we release a breeze we release in the name of Jesus God that you will wrap your arms around them and surround them like a city undestructible city in the name of Jesus here it is y'all the Bible says let's go let's go let's go the Bible says in 1st Peter 5 and 7 write that down 1st Peter 5 and 7 from the passion translation 1st Peter 5 and 7 says this pour out all your worries and stress upon Jesus pour out all your worries and stress upon him and leave them there ha! 
pour out all your ha, worries and stress upon him and leave them there for he always tenderly care for you we declare in the name of Jesus uh, that I release that we release uh, every worry uh, we release uh, every behind uh, everything we were worried about everything we were stressed about every stressor stress is the silent killer and we break uh, the spirit of stress in the name of Jesus we break uh, every stressor on your heart in the name of Jesus we come against dysrhythmias uh, we come against hallelujah erratic heart of uh, heart rhythms and patterns uh, we come against it in the name of Jesus uh, we come against the racing heart <laughs> In the name of Jesus, we come against chest pain. We come against labored breathing. We come against difficulty breathing. We come against it everything, every night terror that was attacking you in your sleep. We come against the spirit of the incubus and succubus. In the name of Jesus, we come against sleep paralysis. In the name of Jesus, while you're in your sleep and you feel like you cannot move, we break the neck of sleep paralysis. In the name of Jesus, and we release the peace of God. We release, God, your peace that blankets us. We release, Father, your glory that blankets us in our sleep and rest. In the name of Jesus. Here it is, here it is. Here it is, here it is. We release it now. I need somebody just to take your hands and open your hands. God, I'm taking my hands off of it. I'm taking my hands off of it. It's too big for me anyway. I'm taking my hands off of it. I've been carrying the stress for too long. I've had my fist clenched tight for too long. I've been carrying that, that frustration, that anxiety, that apathy for too long. And God, right now, I release it. I open up my hands. I take my hands off of it. I'm not holding on to that anymore. Thank you, Father. I'm not holding on to what they did to me no more. Because holding on to what they did to me is hurting me. I'm not holding on to how they act no more. Holding on to how they act is hurting me. I'm not holding on to what happened anymore. What happened does not determine who I am. And what happened does not define me. What happened is not my definition. What happened is not my conclusion. And God, in the name of Jesus, I release it. I don't even need an apology. Because God, in the name of Jesus, I release them. I release the care. I release the burden. I release the hurt. In the name of Jesus, I'm not holding on to the hurt. I'm not holding on to the sting. I'm not holding on to what happened. I'm not holding on to how they did me. I'm not holding on to that pain. I'm not replaying that that painful, traumatic. I'm not replaying that pain painful traumatic experience in my mind anymore I break I break every traumatic memory in the name of Jesus God yes God and I declare in Jesus name that you reset my hardware you reset my memory you heal me father I'm not suppressing I'm not ignoring it God I'm healed from the effects of what happened I'm healed my, you are the bomb in Gilead. You are Jehovah Healer. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are the God that heals me. You are the God that heals my wounds. You are the God that binds up the brokenhearted. You are the God that does it. And Father, in the name of Jesus, my mind and my emotions will not carry me to a place that you have healed me from. I will not allow it. We take authority over the mind. Let this mind be in you that is only so in Christ Jesus, my mind will not be able to take me to a place that you've removed me from. In the name of Jesus, God, we declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, we drive out every traumatic memory. We drive out every traumatic scar. We drive out every traumatic sting. We drive out every traumatic recall. We drive it out in the name of Jesus. Every traumatic wound, every heart wound, we drive it out in the name of Jesus. And Father, we will release your healing love God we release in the name of Jesus hallelujah that the sonship that the spirit of sonship fall on us father in the name of Jesus in Jesus name 
We release, Father, your rest. Ah, come on, let's go. The Bible says, Woo! Ah, we release your rest, God. We release your rest. Come on here, declare it right now. God, I release rest over my mind. I release rest over my heart. I release rest over my spirit. I release rest over me, God. I release rest over my over, over my body. I release rest in the name of Jesus. No more survivor's mode. Ha, I'm going in rest mode. No more survivor's mode. No more burning, burning the wheels. I'm going into rest mode. Ah! I'm going in. Oh, yeah, shut up, Ohio. I'm going in the rest mode. In the name of Jesus. Here it is, y'all. The Bible says in Proverbs. Lord, I can't get to all my scriptures. I gotta go. The Bible says in Proverbs 3 and 26 from the Passion Translation. The Bible says, because God is your confidence in times of crisis, keeping your heart at rest in every situation. Proverbs 3 and 26 from the Passion Translation. Lord, help me to preach. My God, the Bible says in Proverbs 3 and 26. The Bible says from the Passion Translation, because your because God is your confidence. Ha! Ah, I declare in the name of Jesus, uh, instead of a crisis, uh, you gonna have confidence in God. Uh, my God, somebody declare, I'm confident. Woo! I'm confident. I'm confident that he's able to keep me. I'm confident he's able to heal me. I'm confident that I don't have to be in survivor's mode. I'm confident that I can rest in his promise. I'm confident that his word don't lie. I'm confident that he that begun a good work in me, he shall perform it. I'm confident that the work is finished. Ah, yes, son of Messiah. I'm confident that God is on my side and I cannot lose. I'm confident. Oh, Messiah! I'm confident that his promises are yes and amen. I'm confident that I'm already healed. I'm confident that I'm approved. I'm confident that it's mine. I'm confident that it's released. I'm confident that the devil is already defeated. I'm confident that I ain't got to be on 24-hour warfare mode. I'm confident that I can rest and shed out Messiah in the promises of God. I'm confident that God God keeps my heart Woo! at rest in every situation. The Bible says God keeps, I'm confident because my confidence is in God in times of crisis. Ah, when there's a famine, I'm confident. When other folks running out, I'm confident. When the enemy comes in like a flood, I'm confident. When the storms are raging, I'm confident. When pain in my body, when all the arts the guns are pointed at my direction. I'm not going to buckle. I'm not going to fold. I'm confident. Oh, I got a confidence. Not in Latrice. Not in man. I got a confidence in God. I got a confidence in my God that God cannot fail. I stood myself. I failed me. But I'm confident. My hope is built on nothing less than the precious blood of Jesus and his righteousness. My hope is built on him, on Jesus Christ, the solid rock I stand, all of the grounds, hell God, I sink in sand, my foundation is in him, my strength is in him, my hope is in him, my joy is him, is him and I'm confident. God, I'm confident. Come on here, declare it right now. I'm confident. Woo, Shia, that I'm resting. I'm confident that I'm healed. I'm confident that he'll never drop me. I'm confident he'll never leave me or forsake me. I'm confident. Ah, that he's a rewarder for those that diligently seek him. I'm confident in it. And can't nobody change my mind. Ah, can't nobody change my mind. Can't nobody make me go back on that. Can't nobody make me have another option. I'm confident in crisis. Ah, Y'all think I'm arrogant? I ain't arrogant. I'm confident in Jesus. You think I'm stuck up? I ain't stuck up. I'm confident in his word. You think I'm talking crazy and just thinking more harder than himself? I ain't doing none of that. I'm confident in what he showed me. Oh, God. And no devil in hell can make me lose my... Woo! No 
devil in hell. Ha, survival mode over. Survival mode over. Ha, can't no devil in hell make me lose that. I'm not like, I'm not like Martha. The Bible says in Luke the 10th chapter that when Jesus and the disciples came to Martha and Mary's house, glory to God, that Martha was caring about, worried about the wrong stuff. She looked around and she saw her sister Mary sitting at Jesus' feet and she told you about it. And she wanted Jesus to rebuke Mary because she was at his feet. And Jesus said, I'm not going to do that. My God, because she knows where her place is. She knows. Come on, I got to read it, y'all. Uh, the Bible says, the Bible says in Luke 10 and 42 from the Passion Translation. Come on, write this down. I'm confident. I'm confident. I'm going to be like Mary. I'm confident. I'm going to be like Mary. I'm confident. I'm going to be like Mary. I'm confident. Woo! My God. The Bible says in Luke 10 and 42 from the Passion Translation. The Bible says Mary has discovered the one thing most important by choosing to sit at my feet. Watch this. By choosing, by making the decision. With all these folks showing up at the house, she made the decision not to get stressed out. She made the decision not to check out. She made the decision not to lose her mind. She she made the decision not to let the situation win. She made the she said instead of me letting the situation win, I, I'ma take a seat. I prophesy to somebody right here. Take a seat. Come on here. Come on here. Take a seat. Huh? Folks gonna look at you so crazy. Take a seat. Huh? Be like Mary. The Bible says Mary has discovered the one thing most important by choosing to sit at my feet. She is undistracted and I won't take that privilege away from her. I'm taking a seat. Huh? I am no longer in survival mode. I'm taking a seat. Huh? Lord help me and her. My God in heaven. Huh? See something when you take a seat like that with Jesus. Huh? People on the outside will look at you and say you being lazy. People on the outside will look at you and say you don't care. Mm -mm, I care so much. My God in heaven, I ain't lazy. My God in heaven, Lord have me, but I'm taking a seat. I'm taking a seat at the feet of Jesus. I'm taking a seat. My God, because this job is too big for me to handle anyway. This job, it ain't mine anyway. I'm going to take a seat at the feet of Jesus. And I prophesied that there's going to be such a resolve in your spirit. The thing that you was worried about, you getting ready to sit at the foot of Jesus and say, Jesus, how is going to work out? You know what? I don't care how I work out. I don't care who you work it out through. It don't matter when it work out. But one thing about it, I'm going to be right here at your feet. Because at your feet is where I get revelation. At your feet is how I keep from losing my mind. Sitting right here at your feet, Father, is how I keep, is how I can go to work every day sitting right here at your feet and though even though I'm wounded even though I got pain in my body even though I'm mourning I ain't checked out I ain't on no medication y'all don't want to have no church up in here I'm just I'm just taking a seat I'm taking a seat at the feet of Jesus and I prophesy in the name of Jesus the hallelujah that the devil will not have the satisfaction of standing over you stressing you out the devil will not have the satisfaction of of looking over you saying I want the devil will not have the satisfaction of saying my God that I made you miss it the devil won't have that satisfaction because God says when you take a seat when you take a seat when you release it God give you back your strength this battle ain't mine no way do you know how Satan really works Satan he is a defense defeated enemy. He is a defeated foe. My God, he already lost. He know he cannot win. So what he tries to do is make you forfeit. What he tries to do is make us give up. He know he cannot win. He know he's already defeated. So he tries to make you give up. We cancel the spirit of giving up in the name of Jesus. Take a seat and watch God work. 
somebody prophesy that over your life. Take a seat and watch God work. Take a seat and watch God do it. Take a seat. Woo! You worried about that bill? Take a seat. You worried about that family member? Take a seat. You worried about that doctor's appointment? Take a seat. You worried about what's going on? Take a seat. You worried about what's looking at? What you looking at on the news? My God, take a seat. My God, they said, who should Messiah? They said that we're in a famine. They said that this is going up. The housing market going up. Jobs going down. Take a seat. Because my, when you take a seat in Jesus, something begins to happen. My God. God says, hey, Basha, when you take a seat, watch this, y'all, Lord, have mercy. When you take a seat, he breaks the spirit of scarcity. When you take a seat, God breaks the spirit of scarcity. When, when Mary and Martha, they were coming to the house to feed them, Mary, Martha thought, I don't have enough. Mary took a seat. When Mary took a seat, huh? we didn't read no more whether or not they ran out of chicken. We didn't read no more if did nobody get fed. Huh? Y'all don't know when to shout up in here. Huh? We don't read no more if they ran out of the hot wings. Huh? We don't read none of that. Huh? Take a seat. Huh? When we take a seat, God huh? breaks the spirit of scarcity, the mentality of scarcity. In the name of Jesus, somebody declare this, I can't run out. Lord, y'all don't know when to shout. I can't run out. I can't run out. I can't run out. I can't run out. Ain't nobody gonna end up hungry. I can't run out. My gas go out. My car gonna always have gas. I can't run out. My baby will always have formula. I can't run out. I can't run out. I can't run out, can't run out of ideals. I can't run out of revelation. Cause I'm at his seat. Can't nobody steal it from me. I'm at his seat. Can't nobody take it from me. I'm at his seat. Can't nobody snatch it. I'm at his seat. Woo! I can't run out. And I declare in the name of Jesus that God released a surplus over your life. I declare in the name of Jesus, God release a surplus. You can't run out of opportunities. You will never run out of options. You will never run out of oil. You will not run out of revelation. You will not run out of opportunities. You will never run out of clients. In the name of Jesus, I declare a surplus hits your life. You can't run out. Woo! A surplus, watch this. Ah, a surplus. Another word for surplus is excess. Another word for surplus is overstock. Come on here, somebody. Somebody prophesy over your life. Overstock. Overstock. Residual. I can't run out. There would not be a shortage. I will not run out. I can't run out. The Bible says in Proverbs 3 and 10, write that down. Oh, thank you, Father. I can't run out. Westbrook, you can't run out. In the name of Jesus, you can't run out. You cannot run out. God said, I'm going to make some folk hunt you down and overtake you. I'm going to make them hunt you down and look you up. I'm going to make them hunt you down and find you. What's for you just found you, Westbrook. What's for you just found you. You cannot run out. The Bible says, Proverbs 3 and 10 from the Passion Translation. Write that down. Come on, write it down. I feel God. I can't run out. There's a surplus. Come on. The Bible says, Proverbs 3 and 10 from the Passion Translation. Here it is, y'all. The Bible says, then every dimension of your life will overflow with blessings. Lord, help me. Then every dimension of your life will overflow with blessings. Then every dimension of your life will overflow, overflow with blessings. Watch this. From an uncontainable source of inner joy. Then every dimension, you better prophesy over your life. And we pray in the name of Jesus that every dimension of your life will experience an overstock. Every dimension of your life will experience overflow. Every dimension of your life will never run out. Every dimension. Ah! 
of your life will experience hallelujah overflow with will overflow with blessings from an uncontainable source of joy here it is y'all oh lord have mercy the bible says come on overflow overflow overstock here it is y'all the bible says leviticus 26 and 4 let's go the bible says i will send you seasonal rain watch this then the land will yield then the land then then will the the land will then yield its crops and the trees of the field will produce their fruit. Verse five says Leviticus 26 and five says your crops will be so plentiful. Your crops will be so plentiful. Watch this, that you will still be harvesting grain when it's time to pick up the grapes and you will still be picking up grapes when it's time to plant grain. You will have all that you want to eat and you can live in safety in your land. I got to read that again. Leviticus 26 and 5 from the Good News Translation. Here it is, y'all. Leviticus 26 and 5. Write that down from the Good News Translation. He says, your crops will be so plentiful plentiful your crops will be so plentiful oh my god i prophesy that your address is changing to the land of plenty i prophesy you don't just live at one two three main street you live at one two three plentiful avenue y'all don't want to have no church up in here you don't live at one two three uh, 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 fifth street you live at one two three plentiful avenue plentiful boulevard in the name of jesus your crops will be so plentiful come on that you will steal be harvesting grain when it's time to pick up grain. You will still be picking up grapes when it's time to plant grain. Lord have mercy. You will have all that you want to eat and you can live safety in your own land. You will have all that you want. You will never run out. You will have enough ikaraba. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that God is about to set you up so hard. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that you will have more than enough for yourself and for somebody else too. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that God make you like a warehouse. God make you like a storehouse. God make you like a distribution center. God make you like Amazon. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that God release an Amazon anointing on your life. Y'all don't know when to shout. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. My, why are you getting so much? Not so I can stay greedy. I'm getting much because I'm a distributor. I'm getting much. God is blessing you with much. He is changing your season. He is moving you into the overflow for this reason. Because the what he gave you to do is so much bigger than you. What he gave you to do is so much greater than you. God said I'm going to use you to make somebody else dream come true. I'm going to use you to birth out somebody else. I'm going to use you to put somebody else on. I'm going to use you to strengthen up someone else. I'm going to use you to make another person's dream come true. I'm going to use you as the angel investor. Instead of you praying for God to send somebody to bless you, God said, I'm going to make you the blesser. Y'all don't know when to shout up in here. I'm going to make you the distributor. I'm going to make you the messiah. I'm going to make you the warehouse. I'm going to make you the storehouse. I'm going to make you the the ones that's got faith. The ones that believe in God. The ones that he brought out I feel with his spirit. In the name of Jesus. He says I'm making you. Who shit You know you in your season. When you can pay somebody's salary. You better get ready to hire more hands. Get ready to hire more staff. Get ready for expansion. Get ready for growth. Get ready for elevation. In the name of Jesus. For the last few years you've been a business of one. But God said, I'm sending help. He's sending those that you can put them on full time. You can pay them benefits. In the name of Jesus. In a distributor, a storehouse, a warehouse, a stockpile, an Amazon anointing. In the name of Jesus. Let's go. Ah, oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Here it is. Ezekiel 34, verse 26. From the Amplified Version. Ezekiel, write that down. 34. Ha! 34, 26 
from the Amplified. The Bible says, I will make them in the places around my hill, Jerusalem, a blessing. I will make them in the places around you a blessing. We prophesy and we declare in the name of Jesus that God is causing you to be a blessing and everybody around you is going to be blessed because of the oil and the anointing that's on your life. God says, I will make showers come down in their season. There will be abundant showers of blessings in the name of Jesus. We declare, we release in Jesus' name the showers, hush are flowing in your life according to Ezekiel 34 and 26 the showers are flying in your life showers are raining in your life we declare that there is not a famine we declare that God is releasing of showers for every yes God desert every dry place in the name of Jesus that God is releasing showers of blessings God said it's about to rain in the name of Jesus in your life abundant showers of blessings and divine favor. The showers in the name of Jesus. You need this rain. You need this rain. You need this rain. Somebody declare, Lord, let it rain. Let it rain in anointing. Let it rain in the glory. Let it rain down miracles. Let it rain down fire. The fire of the Lord. Let it rain down prophecy. Let revelation rain. Let healing rain. Let your spirit rain. God, let your glory reign. Reign in my house. Reign on the lives. Reign in the schools. Reign in the government. Reign in your workplace. In the name of Jesus, we cause a rain. In the name of Jesus, where there was dry, God let it rain. Where there was no growth, God let it rain. Where there was an attack, where there was scarcity, God let it rain. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, I prophesy new souls in your ministry, new rabbi new rain in your ministry, in the name of Jesus, let it rain anointing, in the name of Jesus, God, let it let it rain in the name of Jesus, sit at his feet, get your rest, ah, and let it rain, I see the size, I hear the smell, I hear the sound, of an abundance of rain. We release and we declare in the name of Jesus. God send the rain. God send the rain in the name of Jesus. Go in the hospital room and send the rain. Go in the jailhouse and send the rain. God go in the schools. Father and send the rain. Let a revival of rain take place in every school across the land in the name of Jesus. God we are not afraid because the rain is here. Oh Rabbi Saturate, saturate us. I declare over every ministry. Saturate you with the rain of heaven. Saturate your ministry. Saturate your organization. Saturate your church. God drench them. Let a downpour fall fresh on your house, on every marriage, on every relationship, on the singles, on the bereaved. God send rain. Send rains of healing. Send rains of virtue. Send rains of strength. Send rains of winds. Woo! In the name of Jesus. God open up the floodgates. Open up the windows. Open up the heavens. And God let it rain. In the name of Jesus. We won't stop it. We won't block it. We won't hinder it. In the rain now. God flow. Let it overflow. Let it overflow. Let it run over. Let it spill over. Let it overrate. Let it saturate. Let it penetrate. Let it consume in the name of Jesus, your holy word, and these grounds, God. Let the grounds rain. Let the grounds rain. In the name of Jesus. God send the rain. God send the rain. Send the rain, send the rain of plenty. Send the rains of harvest. Send the rain of increase. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. God, we bless you. We thank you for the rain. We prayed for the rain. We fasted for the rain. We got in position for the rain. And we're ready for the rain. God, you rain. God, you rain. Show yourself strong. Show 
show yourself mighty. Uh, release your strong arm. Uh, release the wind of God. Uh, release the power of God. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, God, you reign. Uh, we don't want the glory. Uh, we won't take the credit. Uh, God, you reign. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and we thank you uh, for the rain. Uh, it's raining. Uh, it's raining. Uh, and we declare uh, that it's raining. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, come on and give him glory. Uh, come on and give him glory. Uh, come on and give him glory. Uh, rain and rain. Uh, it's raining and he rains. Uh, it's raining and he rains. Uh, ah! It's raining and God rains. Uh, come on, here's somebody. Uh, it's raining and he rains. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Hobaya, Hobada, Tara. Open up your mouth and give him glory. Uh, wherever you are, open up your mouth and glorify God. Uh, open up your mouth and glorify God. Uh, lift up the sound of your voice as a sounding trumpet. Uh, shout and sound the alarm. Uh, shout and sound the alarm. Uh, let the sirens glow. Uh, let the trumpet sound. Hashaya, that Jesus reigns and it's raining in my house, it's raining in my life in the name of Jesus over your family, over your city, over your nation, over your country, over where you are. Let it rain in the name of Jesus. Hey! Woo! Yes, God! Hey, in the night. Hey, thank you, God. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name. Woo! I ain't stressed no more. Come on here, somebody. We're not stressed. We're not in survivor's mode. We sit it at his feet. Ah, he broke the spirit of scarcity in the name of Jesus and released the surplus. Release the overstock. Release the overflow. Ha, rain, God. In the name of Jesus. Come on, let's go. of Jesus oh yes I got in the name of Jesus oh in the name of Jesus rain 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 when I sow my seed ha, I'm sowing and I'm releasing rain when I sow my seed when I sow into this word when I sow into what God released God is releasing the rain thinking not strange that when we sow today there's a flood coming thinking not strange that when we sow today there's a downpour coming thinking not strange that when we sow today ain't no telling what God will release in your life ain't no telling what's gonna come back ain't no telling what's gonna be boomerang ain't no telling what god will release her in the rain the rain the rain the rain the rain ah the rain get that seed i'm on my side how we so i can't the ways are so thank about sukkah the ways are so hallelujah it's pinned on instagram so release the rain Woo! cash up is dollar sign latrice ryan you can go to latriceryan.com. Ha! Give the fire is Latrice Ryan Ministries. Sow that seed. 22. You're tithing. Tithe today. Ikarabosaya. You're tithing today. So they said, is this your day to sow your glory seed? You sow your glory seed and the rain. Lord, release the rain. Release the rain. Release the rain. I got a seed in the I got a seed in the ground. So when the rain come, I got a guaranteed harvest. I got a seed in the ground. So when the rain come, I got a guaranteed harvest. A guaranteed harvest. Oh, yes, God. Yes, Lord. So that seed. 22. You sow your glory seed, your tithe, whatever the Lord lays on your heart. 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22. Ha! I feel you, God. God, I thank you. I thank you for the word. I thank you for the rain. I thank you for the rain. God, I thank you for the rain. God, I thank you for the rain. God, I thank you for the rain. I thank you for the release of the rain. I thank you for the release of the rain. I thank you, Father, for the release of the rain. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for the release of the rain. I thank you for the release of the rain. So that $22 seed, yes, God. 22 your glory seed your tithe whatever the lord lays on your heart in jesus name if you do not know the lord jesus i thank you for the rain and you want to know him lift up your hands wherever you are 
the Bible. Oh, shit. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the souls that are coming in. Thank you for reigning in the souls, God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for those who hear your voice today and say, I want to be saved. And they come back to you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and repeat after me, Lord Jesus. I'm sorry for my sins. Come into my heart. Save me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. Renew me, Lord. I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that you rose for my sins. I confess with my mouth. Believe in my heart, <clears throat> accept you over my life as Lord over all. You said in your word, God, in Romans 10, <clears throat> 10 and 9, that if I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord, believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead, that I will be saved. Lord, I did exactly that. And Father, I thank you for saving me. I live for you all the days of my life in Jesus name. And we bless the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for the souls that have been saved. You prayed that prayer with us. I want to connect with you. I want to want to keep praying with you and praying for you. Hallelujah. So go to I believe him.org and put your information on the website in Jesus name. Y'all, you see me with a shirt on. Unshakable faith is coming up. God, I thank you. Ain't no telling what God going to do with unshakable faith. Unshakable faith is rapidly approaching. We are officially about five weeks away from unshakable faith in, in Atlanta, Georgia, June 24th and 25th. Virtual is open. If you cannot get in the room, register now. So you so, so that you if you can't get in the house, register now so you can get in the room. Unshakable faith. Go to usfaith.org. Unshakable faith. We're coming to Atlanta. If you cannot be in the house, <clears throat> you got to be in the room. Go to usfaith.org. Register for our virtual option. We have uh, 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 breakout sessions. We have revival. It'll be just like you there. I want to connect with you. I want to. I, we do this strategically at the middle of the year to give you that faith recharge, to give you that faith revival as we go into the second half of the year. So this is necessary. Every person that's praying with us right now, register today for the virtual option, the virtual experience of unshakable faith. You can experience what we're experiencing in the house. You can experience, you can be in the room and get it in the room. Glory to God, the virtual room. Uh, uh, King Ira, I agree. You need to be there. I agree. You need to be there. So be sure to go in and register for the virtual option of unshakable faith. I understand the times and the climate that we're in. I, I get that. I understand it. I, I get that. And so if, if you cannot make it in person, we have that virtual option for you. Glory to God. And last year, virtual was so powerful. It was so powerful. We had church right there on the stream. It was powerful. Amen. 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 May the Lord God bless you. Thank you all for praying with us. Thank you for always covering us. KSI, I see our snipers are on here. I love you, snipers. I love my KSI snipers. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I thank God that we are connected. I thank God that we are connected. I thank God that we are connected in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I can't see whatever it was you was trying to tell me. Glory to God. Yes, Unshakable Faith will not be on Facebook. Glory to God. So you have to register. It won't be on Facebook. It won't. You have to make that. Yes, register. We thank God for you. We praise God for you. Um, oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for praying with us. The Lord did it. He reigns. It's raining in the name of Jesus. May the Lord God bless you and keep you. May his faith shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he lift up his countenance. May all men call you blessed. We seal this prayer with shalom. May there be nothing, nothing missing, broken, or lacking in your life. God did it again. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Let the glory fill your home, even in the virtual room. Let the glory fill your home. Let the glory fill your space. Let the glory, let your glory fill the earth. Let your glory, let your glory fill this room. Let your glory, let your glory fill. Surround us with your glory. 
Surround us with your glory. Surround us with your glory. Lord, surround us with your glory. Hey family, it's Evangelist Latrice Ryan with Unshakable Faith. We are coming for two powerful, faith fiery, moving days. Join us for breakout sessions, a revival Friday night, 7 p.m. You must register at usfaith.org and we'll be closing off the weekend with an amazing luncheon. I want to see you both days, usfaith.org. I'll see you there. Somebody repeat after me and say, You made a what? You made a what?